50s and early 60s, Graham Polly Farmer was the most sought after footballer outside Victoria. The East Perth Ruckman had won two Sandover medals in Western Australia, had spearheaded his state to an upset win over the rest of Australia in the 61 Carnival in Brisbane, and won the Tassie medal in 56 against the country's best. St Kilda chased him, Richmond signed him but couldn't lure him east and watched in exasperation as he slipped through their fingers. Enter Bob Davis, the rookie coach of Geelong, a man who had witnessed the farmer magic at the highest level. Farmer in Western Australia had one of the best leaps that you've ever seen and not only did he, he used to leap up and take the ball in the air and then handball it before he got down. He was the man Geelong needed, and in 1961, they fronted East Perth and President Freddie Brook. I got up and said, now, uh, we realise that Graham Farmer's had an outstanding record here, and uh, we think that it's time that he's given the club great service. It'd be nice for him if he'd come over and finish his career in Western Australia, in Victoria, and really be put seal on his career. And uh, Freddie Brook looked at me and uh, stood up and said, we'd only be too happy to give Graham Farmer clearance. And I turned around to O'Brien and said, there it is, I've done it again, you don't have to worry. He said, for £2,000. And I stood up and I said, I think you're wasting our time. And the fellow said, yes, and you're bloody wasting ours too. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and that's as true as I'm sitting here. So we came home and uh, there's a lot of toing and froing going on. Eventually we we found a gentleman with £1,500 and we took £1,500 over and his clearance was there. So, over he came. Geelong lured Farmer away from Perth. This was classic Davis. History will show that after a disappointing debut season in which he injured his knee and wrecked Geelong's hopes of the flag in 62, Farmer was one of the dominant players in the competition in 1963. He was runner-up to Bobby Skilton in the Brownlow and thrilled everyone with his skills and handballing mastery. While Davis was making 800 quid a year as coach in what was to be the premiership year, Polly asked for and got that little bit extra. I said, how much do you want to come and play? Polly said, a thousand pound a year. And I said, is that all you want? He said, yes. I said, OK, so that's all right. And then when he got here, he realised that he'd sold himself a bit short. Sure. And I said, now the thousand pound a year, that's right, Paul. He said, oh, yeah, but and that's on top of what everybody, what everyone else gets, I get as well. And I need a house and a job and a car and, you know, anyway, it didn't make any difference. Farmer would electrify the Geelong crowds in his 101 VFL games between 62 and his return to Perth after the 1967 VFL Grand Final. He would play out his career in the West, taking West Perth to the flag in 1971 and showing his dominance right to the end. In 392 games with East Perth, Geelong, West Perth and two state teams, Farmer built a massive reputation for skill and artistry. Graham Farmer is the only footballer that I have seen in 60 years of football that has made an original contribution to Australian rules football. With his handball, he turned it into an art form. He made everybody else cognizant of the fact that what, that's what you could do with the ball. That you could get it and use the, use the ball, and that's become part of football. And Farmer, that is his trademark for the game, and he will ever be remembered for it. And for me to have been played against him in state teams, and then been fortunate enough to be close enough to him to say, Good on you, Paul, almost every Saturday has been a delight and he's been a friend of mine for my whole life i hope and his family i hope that we are all the same and really i do congratulate the western australian football league on the honor that they've paid polly in naming this room for him because it is a fantastic room it's where all the vips will be and it is certainly something that they can remember the greatest football that's ever pulled on a football boot Fittingly, the VIP room at Subiaco has been named in his honour. And it was a chance for teammates of days past, old coaches and friends, to reminisce on those glory days. Naturally, Bob Davis had his say. Graham Vivian Farmer. 
Oh, I well remember it because we put it on the sea. It was marvellous. The best footballer that there was about it that day. And of course, when he came over and I put a bit of polish on him, <laughs> see what he turned into. He'd been honoured before by his own crowds. His farewell all those years ago was a beauty. I can honestly say, if it was possible for me to cry, which I don't like doing, this would be the day.